Dang, I hope my internet connection is okay. I was just having some issues with it, so I'm a couple minutes late. I'm a couple minutes late. If you are just jumping on, let me know. Say hi. Add graphics to you. No, I don't want to do that. That sounds fancy as hell, though. Adding graphics. <gasps> can I see the comments today? I can see the comments today. How's it going? You guys, it has been such a busy day. I'm super excited to jump into the content. Tiffany is here. Hello. Tiffany, can you let me know? Can you hear me all right? We're late today. We're late today. So sorry. Um... Okay, I'm going to ask my team to send out the text message to let everyone know that I'm live because I don't think that went out yet. How did day two go? Are you guys excited for today? I'm super excited to talk with you all. Um, let me pull up my notes for today. I took notes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. When I'm doing these, it is so hard for me to like restrain my excitement and giving you basically everything I know about everything all at once. Like I wanted to talk to you guys about everything today. I was like, how can I talk about every single thing that they ever need to know to make money right now at this moment? But I can't do that because I know you'll get overwhelmed and I wanna make sure that you have clear tasks clear tasks, clear things that you are going to do every single day. So today, what I want to actually talk to you about, let's start getting into the meat of it. What you're going to learn today is number one, you're going to learn that my dog hasn't stopped barking all day. That's number one. He's driving me nuts. Number two, <laughs> you are going to, we're going to talk about why your ideal client may not see the value in what you do yet. And here's the thing, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with how you're communicating it. And so we're gonna break that down today. And then I'm gonna break down some action steps for you to start showing up as the expert right on social media, right on Facebook, if you wanna use Facebook or any other platform that you decide to use, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever it is. So we are going to break that down today, hello. Let's see, everyone can hear me. Hello, hello, just got my text. Awesome, awesome. Still working on pains, adding them more as I think. You know what, I just wanna talk to you. I just wanna talk to you guys about some things I noticed yesterday. So I want you to be really, um, I want you to be aware that some of you are talking about features of what you do in their business. And I noticed this from some of you. I noticed some of you were talking about like, they don't know how to do their bookkeeping. I have a secret. They don't give a shit if they don't know how to do their bookkeeping. They, they don't know, they don't care, right? Why do they need to do their bookkeeping? To stay in compliance, right? To avoid IRS flags to stay the hell out of jail, right? To avoid getting huge tax bills. That's the pain point. No one wakes up and they're like, oh my God, please somebody, I would love to learn bookkeeping. At least someone who's not a bookkeeper or accountant, right? So think about your ideal client. They don't wake up and say that. So for all of you bookkeepers out there, or if you're offering some other sort of service, I want you to consider this. I want you to consider the fact that you might still be talking about a lot of features of what you do when you talk about their pain points. I want you to focus on their mindset, their emotional stance when it comes to bookkeeping. It's fucking infuriating. They don't want to do it. They don't want to deal with it, but they know they have to, right? And if they don't have to, then they know they need to find somebody to do it. But why? So they can save money, so they can make money, so they can pay their bills on time, so they can make sure they receive all of the money that they're supposed to. Money, money, money. It all comes back to money, right? They want to have a thriving business. So for all my bookkeepers, it's not about the bookkeeping. 
It's about the money, okay? I wanna drive that home today. I wanna drive that home for you. All right, so um, I never pulled up my notes. I lied, I said I was going to, I didn't. Let me do it right now. Um, let's see, is it this untitled document? No. You know what? You know what I did? I sent it to, oh, here it is, day two. Okay. All right, here we go. Day two notes. Okay, so you want your potential clients to see the value in what you're doing. You want them to see the value in what you provide because ultimately that's what's gonna get you your higher ticket clients, right? If they see the value, they're going to pay high ticket, right? And so many of you wanna have high ticket or you just wanna be paid enough to make the job worth it. You wanna get out of like hourly or being paid peanuts for your product or your work. So in order to do that, in order to get yourself from a place of, um, being a commodity, right? So maybe some of you feel kind of like a commodity, like you're a commodity when somebody says, well, Jan down the road said she could do it for me for $35 an hour. And it's like, well, then go see Jan, right? But you have to give them a reason why Jan isn't the better option. You have to differentiate. You have to show your value, show that you're so much more. You are actually the expert. And here's the thing about becoming the expert. So many of us think that the expert looks like and requires us to be a version of ourselves that we're not. Like some sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Almost like, I wanted to make sure, oh God, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you guys, I've lost you. I've lost you. Um, almost like in order to show up as the expert or the authority, you have to step into this different persona. And so it's like, oh, look fancier, um, make what you do sound more crazy and complicated. And we use bigger words. Like we think of expert and suddenly we are using words that are like, instead of using the word use, we're saying, um, you're gonna utilize and implement, right? How about we just, we're gonna use this system, right? You don't have to get fancy about it. Instead of saying something like, um, we're gonna decipher what the best route is. You can say, we're gonna make sure that you have a great plan in place right? And think about the way your ideal client talks. Think about the way they describe what they do. They're looking for the expert, but they're looking for somebody who speaks the damn same language as they do, right? They're not looking for somebody to talk circles around them and use big words. You don't have to be fancy to be the expert. And so I want to break down for you right now what the expert is in order for you to move forward in the best possible way with taking the action today. So the expert, the expert, you guys, is the person who not only is going to be transparent and authentic, they're going to know how to get you the result in the shortest possible timeline the shortest possible way, the easiest possible way, the simplest possible way, right? Because you wouldn't go to the expert who, say you wanna hire a plumber. Let's talk about hiring a plumber, right? Say you're gonna hire a plumber, I really need you to fix the drain to my septic system. They wouldn't come to you and say, oh, you know, your expert isn't going to be the person that makes it more complicated. Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to check every single line. We're going to have to make sure every single one of your plumbing parts are new and up to date and up to code. And you wouldn't feel good if they overcomplicated the process. You would feel like you were being cheated. You would feel like, what, what do you have to do that for? Right? Like this seems so much simpler in my mind. So when you approach and find an expert, the expert is going to be the person who says, great, this is gonna be easy. All we have to do is this to get you here. You're on island A right now, 
your your drain for your septic system is broken. So all I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go in, we're gonna replace that drain, and then we're gonna get out. You're gonna be done. We're gonna we're gonna finish that for you in the shortest amount of time possible. I hope this only takes a day. That's the expert, right? So if you don't overcomplicate your offer, if you don't overcomplicate the way you describe what you do, if you don't overcomplicate the results, people are going to respect you more as the expert. But for some reason on the online interwebs, we see people using all this fancy language to describe what they do. They're saying words like empowered, right? What does empowered even mean? When it comes down to it, and I, and I don't mean that in a bad way because here's the thing, empowered to me has a meaning, but it doesn't actually give me a result, does it? Or when we say confidence, confidence to do what, right? I don't need just confidence. I don't need just empowerment. I want the thing on the other end of that, right? I want the result of being confident. I want to be confident so I could show up on camera and present to you so I can make millions of dollars. I don't just want confidence. I want to be confident in order to get a result. So if you find yourself selling something in empowerment and confidence and peace of mind, I want you to go deeper. I want you to nail down what is the real result here. What do they need to be confident about and why? Confidence in their numbers. I see this one a lot in the bookkeepers. Confidence in your numbers. Why do they want to be confident in their numbers? Like, let's be honest. Like, you think they're going to walk around their PL and they're like, I'm so confident in this PL. I am so confident this PL is right. Right? Guys, they want to know that their numbers are there because they want their bottom line. Am I making money or am I losing money? right? Tell me if you're catching what I'm saying. Do you guys get this? I hope I'm making some of you laugh. I told you I want to be on SNL. Okay, so get deeper in the results. We're not just selling empowerment. No one buys empowerment. No one does. I'm sorry. I love you guys. No one buys it. They want to be empowered to take action. They want to be empowered to change their life in some way. So let's be clear about what you're going to do to give them those results. All right. So now that we've been through that, I've been cracking up the whole time. I love it. I love it. Okay. So now that we've been through that, now that we have a better understanding, I want you to really focus in and narrow on your results. I want you today, your first action item is, what results do you provide? And I want it to be simple, guys. I want it to be like, I help these people make more money. I help uh, stressed out entrepreneurs make more money. I help stressed out entrepreneurs save more of their money. I help scaling entrepreneurs save on taxes. I help um, couples who love each other find, um, excuse me, couples who love each other find uh, more excitement in their marriage, right? What is it? Not, I empower you to be confident. Because what in the actual F does that mean, right? So, all right, so today's first task list, write down, I want you to narrow it down. I want you to narrow it down to three results and then I want you to circle one. I want you to circle the one that you're gonna lean into most often. When you're creating a product, when you're creating your next service, when you're about to pitch your next product, I want you to lean into one. You can, you can of course, touch on the other things, right? So. So I love that everyone's commenting, Tiffany Ware, Tiffany Ware. Are you watching this, Tiffany? Um, so I want you to do that because here's the thing. When I'm pitching something to you, I'm going to be honest about it. I'm going to say something like, listen, I am, I, 
if you come to this program, if you show up for this program, you're going to get more leads. You're going to get more clients. And I might add in a few things around like you're going to know exactly what to post. I might add in a couple, but I'm going to lean into the big one, right? What's the big overall encompassing uh, result that your system, your product, your offer, whatever you provide, what is the big result? Because now we've dialed in. We have one person that we help. We know who that one person is. It doesn't have to be an industry. It has to be a mindset, remember? Our one mindset that we're niching into. Now we have one result. We have one result that we're focused on. And then we just need to know how are you going to do it, right? And that's usually what you do. So I have some examples here because we're going to next, you're going to put your I help statement together. Let me pull it up really quick. Okay, so where is my I help statements? All right. I help. I want you all to write this down. I help. There will it will be in the show notes. You'll get the show notes um, today as well. So you get the show notes right after this. I help X type of people get X type of results by doing what? So some of my examples here are, I help scaling business owners keep more of their money by providing monthly accounting services. That should be super clear what I do, right? I'm gonna help you keep some of your money. You're trying to scale your business. That's a mindset. I am trying to scale. I wanna scale this business, right? That's a mindset. Scaling business owners, scaling entrepreneurs. You can say scaling construction workers. If you are niched in an industry, right? Keep more of their money, right? So that that talks to their bottom line. We're not saying, I, I want you to understand your PL. They don't want to understand their PL. They want to keep more of their money. By providing what? By doing what? I'm going to give you monthly accounting services, right? I help couples who love each other stay in love even when life has thrown them a challenge, right? So that's another sort of help statement. Um, mine could be, I help uh, small business owners. I'm just writing this down in your show notes right now. I help small business owners uh, book high quality clients consistently with organic marketing and content creation. Right? I help small business owners book high quality clients consistently with organic marketing and content creation. I hope that you would understand exactly what I do. And here's the reason for the formula, the way I have it. I have, I help these type of people. Why? Because in your bio, when you click on your LinkedIn page, when you click on your Facebook, when you click on your Instagram, the first thing that shows up is your bio and it speaks directly to a person. Scaling entrepreneur, oh, that's me, right? Growing business art, oh, that's me. Happy couple, that's me, right? I'm a happy couple. What do you have to, what do you have to offer me? And then immediately results. And the reason we put the results next is because we don't want to have them lose sight of that very important thing that they're after. Because all they really care about is results. People are selfish. They want to know, can you get me a result, right? Can you get me the results? Typically, they don't even care how you do it. In most cases, they're like, yeah, tell me what I have to do to like do this. Tell me what you need me to do in order to get these results. What are you going to do for me in order to get me these results? They care about the result. So the reason that results is second is because we want to make sure that we drive that home before they even get to the how, right? We're emotional buyers first, then we're logic buyers. Emotional, <gasps> shiny results. You're going to help me lose 20 pounds. Oh my God, I don't even care, right? You're going to help me lose 20 pounds in two days. Yes, I'm all in. And then it's like, how? By chopping off one of your limbs. Then logic comes into play. Well, shit, I can't chop off one of my limbs. Like, I'm not going to do that. Never mind, I don't want this, right? So we want them to buy emotionally. And then we want them to consider the logic, the, the way it works. Does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense. Give me some hearts. Uh, let me know 
if you feel like I'm absolutely crazy, I don't care. Um, I'm sure some of you do. That's awesome too. Okay. So now you have a help statement. Now you have a help statement. And so what you're going to do today from this challenge, your steps today, so we're going to write down a bunch of results, right? So step one was write down some results. Then we're going to work on our help statement. From there, what I want you to do is I want you to go update your profile. So if you are using Facebook, you're going to use your personal profile. If you're going to use, um, if you're going to use Instagram, you can use a personal Instagram. If you're going to use LinkedIn, use your personal LinkedIn, right? Why are we using a personal brand on social media? Because social media is personal. It is. You may have some objections around this. You might be like, well, wait, I got wait a second. My personal profile, Alyssa, like what about my family? What if, what will they say about me? Listen, I get this objection a lot. I hear it. I hear you. I see you. But when it comes down to it, unless your family is willing to pay all of your bills and afford your life of luxury that you desire, I don't think it should matter what they have to say. That's just me. Now, I realize there might be circumstances where you're like, no, 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 uh, this is a special circumstance. Everyone thinks they're special, by the way. You're probably not. Maybe there's a couple of you. I'll give it to you. Maybe there's a couple of you. I have heard some really, really good reasons, and I'm fine with that. Like, like I would be in danger if I put myself out there that way. Okay, then maybe this isn't for you, right? So that would be awful. I hope that's none of you here. But if there is a cer special circumstance, maybe you need to create a pseudo um, personal page that's about you, it's about your business, but doesn't have your personal information, whatever it is. So you can create another page. You don't have to use that one. So friends, family, what if they judge me? What if they judge me? They already are. I don't know if anyone's told you this. Tucker, Tucker, come. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. I don't know if anyone's told you this, you guys. People already are judging you. I'm sorry. They are. They judge you no matter what. People who judge, judge no matter what. No matter if you're winning, no matter if you're losing, they are judgment people. That's what it comes down to. So if you are going to give them something to judge, let it be incredible. Let it be amazing, right? Give them something to judge. Because here's the thing, anyone who judged me when I started my business and I started talking about money online, and you know people came out for me, there's more to life than money, Alyssa. Yeah, I know, but listen, that's why I talk about money. Because with all the money I have, I can do all the things that are the more to life, right? I could do all of those things. I could donate to somebody who's in need. I could give a woman $300 for groceries because she can't afford to feed her kids today. I could donate to a family who's having health issues. I could go on vacation. I can employ my mom. I can employ my best friends all because of money. So there is a lot more to life than money, right? So no matter what, you have to decide what is more important to you. The judgment, the things people have to say, or you getting the life that you desire. You getting the life of luxury you desire, you making enough money to maybe just pay I don't know, your your bills. Maybe you want to retire your husband's or your spouse, your wife. So there are always going to be people judging you. I want you to decide that this means more. Your business means more. Growing means more. Let me know if you guys have decided that. Let me know if you've decided that. Let me know if you're going to go all in on this. If you have concerns, if you have concerns, if you have fears, I want to hear them because let's break through them, right? I want to retire myself. I want to retire my husband. 
I have a mother-in-law who asks for money every time my husband does a film. Half of them, he donates his time. Indie film is not Hollywood. Oh my Lord. All right. I love these. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the all ins. Perfect. So you've decided you're going to go all in. You've decided I'm doing it. I'm going all in. I'm going to show up on my personal profile. I'm fine with it. So I have some tactics for you and some things I want you to take away today so you can go implement this. Number one, I want you to update your bio with your new help statement. It's okay if you have it, like you can add some emojis in there. You could do something fun. So update your bio with your new help statement. Drop your help statement in the comments if you'd like. You can drop your help statement in the comments later today. Post it in here, post it in the group. Remember, engagement is helping you. Every time you engage in the group, you are more likely to win money. And we'll be announcing those winners in uh, on Friday. The winners of the engagement to win money will be announced on Friday. Friday. So share your help statement. Update your profile picture. Why? If it has anything to do with your business logo, your business name, I don't want to see it. I'm not, here's the thing, you guys. I don't know if some, some of you might know me. There's a hashtag that goes around. It says, hashtag do what Alyssa says. This is one of those things where I'm fully in line with do what Alyssa says. Because there are some things where I don't care if you don't do what I say. I don't care. If you dialed into what I said and you're like, okay, I'm not doing that though but you take another action because of the advice at least, totally cool with that, right? This is a do what Alyssa says. Make sure it is a picture of your face. Remember, social media is about a face. It is a, it's a social network. People want to get to know you. They want to know if they trust you. They want to know if they love you. They want to know if they like you. They are not going to do business with somebody they don't know. They're not going to do business with a logo. Because here's the thing, I love you all, but you are not Nike. Maybe one day you'll be there and everyone will recognize your logo. Right now, we have some money to make, right? We can have our Nike dreams and everyone recognize our logo worldwide in the future. Right now, I just want them to recognize your face. I want them to build a personal connection, right? I want them to develop a personal relationship. I want them to see your eyes. I want them to see that they can trust you. So update your profile picture if it is not a picture of your face. Why are you barking? I think at this point he's barking at the cats now. Your banner. Let's get to the banner. This is the fun part. This is the part you all are going to freak out about. You're going to freak out. I know you are. Your banner. You're going to be like, oh my God, I don't know how to use Canva. It's going to be so hard, right? I want you guys to update your banners. If you have not already, make your banner. Your banner is this beautiful area that you can advertise. Like, look at this right here. This could be, you think about your profile, right? Your profile. So you're going to have your bio right here. I help scaling entrepreneurs, da, 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 da. And then your pretty face. And then you have this beautiful banner behind you. Fill that shit. <laughs> Come here with what you do for people, how they can get in touch with you. Give them a call to action. Do you want these results? Click here, right? Click here. Click here. Message me. Now, if you go look at my profile, I want you to deep dive onto my personal profile. I want you to go to it. I want you to see how we did it. When you click on the image, there's no real button. I have to reiterate this because everyone's like, well, how do you add the button? It's it's just a graphic. I made the button by placing two squares over top of each other, right? Then I put words in there, but it's not a real button. It doesn't go anywhere. What happens is you click on the image and then in the description, hear me loud and clear, the description of the image, of the banner image on your profile is where I put the link for what I want them to do. The dog is hyping me up. He's my hype man. We'll call it that. We'll call him my hype man, okay? We'll call him my hype man. So update your bio. Here's some examples. 
do you want to save money on taxes? Click here to find out more, right? You have your, your face, you could do a pretty image. Do you want to get more clients? Click here to learn how. Do you want to sign up for my free resource, right? Maybe you guys have a free resource. Do a shot every time Tucker barks. Yes, next time, tomorrow, bring tequila. I'm a tequila girl, you guys. I'm a tequila. Uh, so we drink margaritas around here pretty often. Not that often. It was a couple weeks ago, our last margarita. Maybe we'll have margaritas this week. You guys want to have margaritas this week with me? Maybe on Friday, we do a huge party and we can do margaritas on Friday. I think that would be awesome. Okay, so. <laughs> no, we'll die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to update your banner today, okay? With a call to action. You know what a call to action is? It's when you ask them to do something. People won't do something if you don't ask them to do it. Just like I'm here, right? I have to tell you what to do. And here's the thing about telling what pe telling people what to do. This, is, this, this wasn't part of my training, but I'm going to give it to you anyways. When people need to think creatively, they come up with excuses, they exaggerate possibilities, right? They scare themselves into not doing something. Think about the things like imposter syndrome, right? Let's talk about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is your ability to come up with stories that you've told yourself about all the things that could go wrong. And that's what people do when you don't give them exact steps. When you don't give them exact steps, update your banner, have a call to action, put your bio here, change your headshot so you look like a beautiful version of you. It doesn't have to be professional, right? If you want some tips on um, a headshot, all I really want you to do is if you want to take another one, like do your hair, put on a nice shirt, go in front of a um a window so you get natural light take a picture of yourself there right in canva you can actually put your image in canva and blur out the background you hit effects so you hit effects and you can say remove background and then you can just put a black screen behind it that's if you go look at my profile picture right now that's all it is it's a picture of me in front of a window i took by myself i took out the background put a black background behind it that's it it wasn't fancy. I didn't have a professional photographer. Okay. All right. So call to action, giving people exactly what to do in order to work with you. And then if you want to go a step further, you would say something like click here, if click here to learn more. And then you can have in the description, if you'd like to book a call, you can do this. Not if you're not into booking a call, message me right? You can just message me. Give them an option. Give people options on how they can reach out to you. Natural light is very important. It is. All right. What other, do you guys have any questions? The, I, this is all I had for today. This was a lot. I was trying to like, I was trying to bring it down. I wanted to tell you everything all at once. It's my desire to just make sure you guys get results. So um, go take a look at my profile. Once your profile is updated, the other thing I want you to think about here, you know what, I'll pull up my, my screen right now. Hold on, let's do this, you guys, let's do this. Oh, I have a different profile right now, but that's okay. See, look at my profile. My profile picture is not what I was talking about earlier. It was the black one. Um, it was the black screen, but right now it's different. See this, how you can screenshot this? Yes. So Hillary, um, screenshot, once you've updated your profile, I want you to share it right in the group. Share it right in the group so we can see it, okay? So you're going to update your banner. My banner says, want to attract more clients with organic reach? Join a community of coaches and consultants scaling their business. Hell yes, I'm in, right? That's what it says. 
then you guys, if I click on it and view the profile, what happens is it goes to a description of the photo, a description of the photo, and then it has links, right? Learn more about working with us, alyssajdillon.com. Join our community, Facebook groups, unfiltered marketing, right? That's the exactly what to post group. All right, so go look at my profile if you need examples. Take a screenshot of your new profile, put it in lead, uh, leads for free group. I'm like, what group am I in? Oh shit. Leads for free group, put it in the leads for free group. Make sure you map out your results and map out your I help statement. So I help X get these types of results by doing what? right? By doing what? And so there will be show notes for this. Um, I'm pretty sure my uh, team right now is taking notes on this live. Uh, let me see. Oh, here we go. Do you have any tips for people just beginning their business and struggling with the back end and technology of things? Do you have any tips for people just beginning their business, struggling with the back end and technology of things? Um, I guess, what do you mean struggling? So my my advice to you right now is do everything I've said. Don't worry about backend and technology right now. Truthfully, you don't need any technology to make money right now. What you need is you need to know how to use a Facebook profile and you need to be able to post. And in this world, in this generation, I think that is typically pretty easy. Um, Yeah, look up the problem on YouTube, right? And if it's something like as simple, like, wait, how do I update my profile picture? Just Google that, right? Google that exact thing. Go on YouTube and look up that exact thing. There's gonna be learning curves in everything you do. Um, do we put a call to action in the description section when we update the banner and profile? Yeah, sure, absolutely, absolutely. Book a call, right? um learn more here I'm trying to think what other calls to action uh calls to action you could do book a call you can do message me you can say email us um whatever way is the best way for people to get in touch with you i'm honestly i'm going to lean into message me because here's the thing on social media message me is a lot easier. Usually people might be reluctant to get on a call. So message me is a really good one for like, just message me here. And here's the other thing, tip for you guys. If you want, you could go into your Facebook Messenger. There is a way to get your, I'm gonna try to walk you through it really quick. So you might have to rewatch this. So if you go into your profile and you hit, your little face, the tiny little face right up here, you hit your face, it's going to say username, you click on username, you can copy the link. You can copy that link, right? And so you can give people that you can put that in the description of the photo message me here. And so all people would have to do is click it, right? And the, the link starts with m.me backslash, and then it's going to be your username. Just focus on one call to action. Just focus on one. Um, let's see, are there specific rules we need to follow when it's not a business profile? So here's the thing. This is another objection I was actually going to handle and I forgot about it. So thank you for reminding me. What you're doing isn't selling a product forward facing and posting links to all of your crap, right? So it would be different if you were like, buy my shit, buy this product now. Well, all you're asking people, you're saying, do you want these results? Message me, right? That's not actually selling anything. So it doesn't violate the 
Facebook rules or the Instagram rules. Of course, you should be careful with this. You don't want to message a bunch of people with a link. When we message, when we have to send links, what we do is we actually send them um, through email. We'll require an email. We'll say, hey, send us your email so we can get this over to you, right? Because we don't want to get shut down. We're going to follow compliance, but we're trying to get everybody over to our Facebook or our uh, email list ultimately. And when, when you're online, when you're on social media and you're talking to people, you guys, the idea isn't sell, 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 buy my shit, buy my shit. What it really looks like is here's some value. Here's me showing up as the authority. Hey, if you're interested in hearing more about working with me, all you got to do is comment below. If you want to know more about working with me, just message me, right? You don't have to say, buy my thing, do it from the link below, do it right now, right? And most of you wouldn't want to do that anyways because you'd feel really salesy and weird about it. Let's see. Yep, bear in mind, that's a good point. Bear in mind, Facebook limits the characters in the bio, but IG does not have that limitation. Um, here's the thing, pick one place, you guys, to show up. Like, last tip, pick one place. If you are just learning how to do marketing in organic marketing and you're just starting to market yourself, you are going to basically shoot yourself in the foot if you try to do all the things all at once. Get really good at one platform. Just really good at one platform. All right. Okay, guys, this was so fun. Were there any other questions? Let me just, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Yep, we put the call to action in the description section when we update the banner. And the, the banner update should really be to the results that you're going to provide. So take a look at mine and model it. Model what I've given you. Model my profile, right? Do you want to get clients? Click here to learn more. Super simple. Do you want to save money on taxes? Click here to learn more. Doesn't have to be complicated, right? All right, I'm just scrolling. All right, I think I got everybody. It's only letting me scroll up there. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What if we have a business suite which puts on Facebook and that's fine. If you, if you have business suite where it puts it on Facebook and Instagram, that's totally fine, totally fine. Do you have any advice on how to choose which platform to start on? Yes, I do. Um, pick the one that you would hang out on the most. Where do you find yourself hanging out? What's easy for you to show up on? I don't, I don't naturally click Instagram. I don't naturally click LinkedIn. I naturally go to Facebook. So that's where I started my business because it was an easy place for me to start hanging out. So think about ease of use for yourself. Don't give yourself other learning curves. Eventually you might find like, man, I love being on Facebook so much and I think I wanna go over to LinkedIn also, so I'm gonna try my hand at that, right? And so supplement, add that. But right now, do whatever feels natural. And here's the deal. If anyone tells you that your ideal clients are on one of the LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, I'm calling BS because there are how many people in this world they're going to be somewhere, right? They're going to be on a platform, no matter what. So I've never had a problem pulling a lot of money out of Facebook. I've never had a problem finding high ticket clients on Facebook. It's never been an issue for me. I've never really used LinkedIn. Um, once in a while, we dabbled in it. But honestly, we haven't gotten the results that we wanted to over there. That's not to say that you won't get results there. That's to say that I didn't get results there because I didn't like hanging out there, right? So you get to pick a platform that works for you. <laughs> oh, shoot. I have a business Facebook account. Um, can I just do this there? No. You got to use your personal profile. I love you. I'm sorry. But your, your view on your 
business page will be so incredibly small that you will not make a dent in anything. Um, basically, think of Facebook business page as it's pay to play, right? The way you get views on a business page is paying for ads. You can copy your content over to your business page for the long game, but for the most part, start with your personal page to get yourself out there, to let your friends, family, and when you're going into other groups, when you're going other places and you're answering questions, when you're trying to be of value in other places where your ideal clients might be hanging out, right? When you're doing that, you would do it using your personal page, not your business page. Okay. Oh my gosh, so annoying. Thank you. Yep, you can copy, that's fine. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hey Alyssa, at one point, do we request a free consultation or discovery call from our ideal clients? Or do we always just stick with message me? Um, interesting, okay. Um, so whenever you feel comfortable, right? You can say book a call. Uh, for the most part, I'm gonna be honest, I've been in the online business space for a number of years. And truthfully, I qualify people in Messenger before I ask them to book a call. I just don't wanna waste either of our time, right? My time is way too precious to get somebody on a call that might not be a good fit. So I always have Messenger conversations in order to book the call. Can I just update my business Facebook page? You can, but you likely won't get the results that I want you to get. Have you, do you have any thoughts on what to post on personal page versus business page? Same exact thing, copy the content. Yeah, I tried that business page doesn't get hits at all. It doesn't. Um, I, I spent roughly over the last month about $6,000 in ads and my business page is still like performing equivalent to my personal page performs, right? So I had to spend a lot of money there. You guys are likely not in a place where you wanna do that. I'm here now because of all the work I'm telling you to do on the front end. I'm only able to spend that kind of money now on Facebook ads because of this front end work, right? You guys can be there too, where you're driving ads and driving people with ads, right? And running more traffic to your business page ultimately. But I'm gonna be honest, I have never had a client get results with what I'm teaching them to do on a business page. All right. Yes, uh, Alexa, I did see your DM about Instagram. I have been pretty much on calls all day, so I will get back to you. All right. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, last question here says, how would you get your audience to find your personal page to your friends and family aren't the only ones seeing your posts? Ooh, good question. We're going to talk about that. Um, where I would start is what I said yesterday, join groups where your ideal client is hanging out. So look for those groups, right? Where, what kind of groups would your ideal client be in? I would infiltrate and get into those groups. What time is it? Okay. Yes, you need a business page to run ads. You should eventually aim to get email addresses from the leads to nurture. Yes. Okay. All right. Great stuff, you guys. Great, great stuff. You definitely want to be growing your email list in the future. Right now, let's focus on getting some money. Let's get some leads. Let's make some money. Um, it took me a couple years to actually get into email lists. I have a stronger emphasis on it now with my clients because I don't want to see anyone 
uh, ultimately put all their eggs in the social media basket. So I do teach that strategy now in some of my higher level programs, how we collect emails pretty much on a daily basis um, and what that looks like without using ads to do it. So um, should we prepare our websites and pages first before we go into the groups? You don't need a website. I would honestly just start with your profile. I would start with your profile. I got a website in um, 20, late 2019, early 2020 was the first time I ever had a website. I became a big girl. Is a business page even necessary? Long game it is. If you're going to run ads eventually, yes, long game, it's going to be necessary. All right, you guys, it is four o'clock. I'm going to let you go because I have to go get my kiddos from school. Um, they're at daycare. I picked them up at four. So I'm going to head out tonight. I'm super excited to see all of your guys's wins, how things are going for you. I want to see your profiles. I want to see them optimized. Give me all of the stuff. Give me everything. Oh my gosh. Paula says she's so late. Okay. So all I want you to do is just go watch the replay. As soon as I end this, the replay is going to be available. All right. Mwah. Love you guys. I will talk to you later.